some outfit ideas, as well as some activities you can do. Also, if you can please subscribe, hit that subscribe button, it really helped me out. Um, my goal for this summer is, I don't know if you can see, but I have a summer bucket list up here. One of them is to get to 40 subscribers. Right now I'm at 29, so it really helped me out if you just hit that subscribe button, as well as tell all your friends and family about my channel if you enjoy it. And in my last video I said I will be doing a Q&A, so you can still leave comments down below and I will try to answer them in my Q&A. Also, I'm sorry I've been gone for like one or two weeks. Um, I couldn't think of videos and I was kind of busy, so sorry about that. So yeah, I hope you're as excited for this video as I am and let's just get started. First thing that we're going to be making is these 4th of July pretzels. So what you'll need is some pretzels, some white chocolate, some sprinkles, and a baking sheet. Let's start out by spreading out the pretzels onto the baking sheet. To melt the chocolate, what you will need to do is put some water in a skillet and then put a bowl on top and heat that water up and put the chocolate in the bowl and then just keep stirring in the chocolate will melt. So you pour the pretzels in the bowl with the chocolate or just melt the chocolate over and then add sprinkles and spread it out and you are ready to put it in the freezer. Some for you like this, you're over my head, I'm out of my mind, thinking I was good in the wrong time. Pretzels are out of the freezer, you can just break them up and put them in a bowl and you are ready to go. Pretzels are super delicious and very best. So Next we're going to be making marshmallow pops. You will need marshmallows, chocolate, sprinkles, and straws or sticks. are melting the chocolate the same as before. Just get your sprinkles ready by putting them in a bowl and popping the marshmallows on the straw. Already, just dip the marshmallows into the melted chocolate and then into the sprinkles and then set them on a plate and you're ready to go. Then stick them in the freezer and they are all ready to go. Third thing we're making is fruit kebabs, so what you will need is strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, and some sticks to put them All you need to do is prepare and wash your fruit and then just stick them on the sticks any way that you like. Um, and it's really great to have these red and blue fruits. These are super delicious and very healthy. The last thing we're making is a 4th of July drink. You'll need some bubbly water, any kind, any kind of juice, and blue food coloring. And for the rim, you'll need sugar and red food coloring. So mix them together some sugar and some red food coloring really well so it's all red. For the drink, just add together your bubbly water your juice, and then mix in some blue food coloring to get the blue festive color. Put the rim of the cup you're going to use in the drink, and then put it into the sugar so you get that nice sugary rim, and then just fill it with your drink, and add a straw, and you're all done. put all the treats that we just made together and have a really great 4th of July party. Um, also, I forgot to put the pretzels out, but I did eat them. They were super delicious. Um, yeah, you can put it all together. I used just a little table and had some decorations, like some flowers and a pinwheel, and it was super great. Tell me when you're ready. Yes, I'll be your girl. Forever you lady. You ain't never got a word. I'm down for you, baby. Uh, best believe that. 
when you need that. Here are some outfit ideas for the 4th of July. For the first outfit, I am just wearing this white shirt. Not sure where it's from. I'm also wearing these blue tie-dye shorts, which are from Target, and a red bandana. I think it really ties all the colors together. Second outfit idea, I'm just wearing this white knit shirt, which is from Consignment Store. Some high-waisted shorts, which are from Wet Seal. A blue bandana. I also have a red flannel tied around my waist, which is also great if you are cold. You can just wear it, especially if you're doing something at night. But if you do, you can wear red lipstick. Hey. Here are some activities that you can do on the 4th of July. You go see a fireworks show with your friends. Hey. 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 You have a bonfire. Hey. 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 You have a party with the DIYs that you showed you. Hey. Or you could light sparklers. Subscribe, that'd be really helpful to me. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.